All right, guys. So today we're going to be checking out the upgraded version of the Tozo NC9. And this is one of their most popular earbuds. And for a good reason. The original NC9s had some very impressive features and some really incredible value for an earbud that came in at $60. But the upgraded version comes in retailing for only $39, uh, but right now they have it where you can pick it up for around $33. And with the improvements that they've made and some questionable things that they've also decided to do, I think this is one of the best earbuds that you can get for under $40. So we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna talk about all of the features, we're gonna see what all comes inside the box, and see why I think this is a hell of a value at its current price. So first off, before anything, I do want to say that I love it when a company takes a product, a product that's already good, makes it better, and then doesn't decide to like up the price. They actually drop the price. So it was already surprising to see that these came in at about $20 cheaper than the original earbud. Now another thing is, uh, these are available in a bunch of different colors, so you're not just stuck with the black model, which is the one that I have here. Uh, and as far as from like a design standpoint, the original ones kind of looked like an unbranded earbud. There was nothing on the earbuds. They now have your left and right marked on the outside of the earbuds, and and the original ones had Bluetooth 5.0, where the new ones now have Bluetooth 5.3. A huge advantage to that is Bluetooth 5.3 makes it where you can use these for a lot of different types of media, and it's cutting down lag a lot better than the Bluetooth 5.0. Now, the original version, now this is a questionable move on the new ones, it had the ability to go between ANC on, your transparency mode, or ANC off, where with the new ones, you just have ANC on, or transparency on and there's no off it's either one or the other so that's a little interesting now they did up the battery life on the new ones which we'll talk about that in just a little bit but some other things as far as the case and the earbuds uh, the case has a slim like compact design it's kind of similar to the originals on the back you can see the USB-C input uh, around on the front, you have four indicator lights, and this is how you gauge how much battery life is on the case. And the case is also a Qi wireless charging case. So uh, it does come with a USB-C cable for charging, but you won't have to use that because you can just drop this on any wireless charger and it will start charging. And then as far as anything else included in the box, they do give you six sets of ear tips. Uh, so it's really easy to find the right one and get a good seal on these. And that's important because this pair has hybrid active noise canceling. So you have to make sure that you already have a good seal so that it's gonna block out as much as it can. And speaking of the active noise canceling, the noise canceling definitely punches well above its $40 price tag. I, I was very impressed with not only how it blocked out engine noises and AC units and anything that had like that lower tone to it, but it does a very good job of blocking out people talking, or if you're in a room where a TV's going on, uh, it isolates you from a lot of that. So it is very impressive the noise canceling level that these have, although it's not on like the Sony or Bose level. Uh, it definitely is more in that $150 range when it comes to noise canceling. And kind of the same thing with the transparency mode. Now the transparency mode is a little sensitive. Uh, so if you're not listening to anything, you will notice that there is a little sensitivity in the mic that's being picked up. Uh, it kind of comes across as like a hiss or like a white noise. Uh, but it again, it's the mic being a little sensitive. But the advantage to that is in ambient mode, uh, you can hear a lot of the things around you. And you can easily carry on a conversation without taking the earbuds out. Now, if you are going to use these outdoors, they do come in with an IPX6 rating. That is also impressive for a pair that has noise canceling because most noise canceling earbuds sit around an IPX4. Uh, so you're going to be fine against splashes and rain and sweat and things like that. Uh, and although you don't want to submerge these into water, if you do drop them into water and kind of grab them real quick, that IPX6 rating kind of means that your earbuds aren't instantly going to get damaged. Now, another thing that I wish that this pair had, but this isn't something that was on the original one either, is the NC9s do not work with Tozo's app, which really means you won't be able to keep these updated. It also means you don't have that like native EQ options where it has its own pre-built settings or you can go in and customize it yourself uh, the way that Tozo wants you to have control over. You can always download a third-party app to do this, but in my opinion, experience with those type of apps they're not as good as when the company offers them themselves so i do wish that this pair had app support so if that's something you're looking for this 
just doesn't give you that. But a nice advantage with this pair is on top of the fact that it does have touch controls, the company does give you control over everything out of the box. So you don't need an app to go in and switch around control settings. Uh, they do give you everything out of the box, which is your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards. You have your volume control, and then you have your ability to switch it between noise canceling and your transparency mode. Now moving over to talking about the battery life. Now this again is like I said where they made a pretty drastic improvement. Uh, the original ones were already impressive because you could get 8 hours on the earbuds and about 32 hours using the case. But if you're going to use the new NC9s, uh, if you're going to use them in transparency mode where you're not using the noise cancelling, you can get about 13 hours of battery life on the earbuds themselves with about 40 hours using the case but even with turning the noise canceling on you're still going to get seven hours on the earbuds and around that 32 hours that the original ones gave you with the noise canceling off so that's very impressive battery life especially a huge jump from the original ones now it does have a fast charge feature but it's again not one of those that's very impressive on a 10 minute charge you're going to get about an hour's worth of use uh, so it's nice if you pick them up and they're dead that you can throw them back in the case and charge them for 10 minutes uh, and get that quick one hour uh, especially if you're going to the gym and you maybe only need them for an hour now if you are going to use these for taking phone calls uh, this is an area where I think they're just okay. I don't think there's a huge improvement over the mics from the original ones, but I think for the most part, not many people are going to have complaints on the other end of a phone call while using these. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is the mic test using the Tozo NC9s. And I think for the most part, it does a decent job. I think it picks up my voice fairly well with maybe a little bit of distortion, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. And really I could sum up the sound as this. This is a very sparkly sounding pair of earbuds that has a very tight but still impactful bass. And to kind of sum that up, the bass again, it does have plenty of punch to it, but it is not loose. It's not that subwoofer or sloppy type bass. It punches, it hits, and it moves on. And, and if you're like me, where you listen to a lot of genres like rock and metal, this definitely makes this stand out. But the treble is very sparkly. What that means is it's not overly bright. Uh, it does have some sibilant sounds to it at times. So uh, with S's or with the cymbals crashing, you'll hear a little bit of a hiss depending on how loud you're listening to them. Some people prefer this. Some people may not like this. Uh, I actually like it. I think it gives some life to the cymbals. Uh, I think it also helps elevate the treble when you're listening to things like metal uh, where the double bass of the drums may be going pretty quick. It's not just drowning out or smothering the details uh, that your treble has. And the mids on here are also done extremely well. It, it is pushed up forward enough that I could go from pop or hip hop uh, over to metal or easy listening or whatever. And I always felt like I could hear male and female vocalists very cleanly. I didn't feel like they were getting drowned out. I didn't feel like they were falling back into the mix. Uh, and certain guitar sounds that mids pull out, uh, this pair does a very good job with. And on top of all that, the sound stage and the sound imaging, I felt like was also very impressive. I felt like it made me feel like I was in a large room uh, and it did a really good job of being able to tell where different sounds were coming from. So if I had to rate these based off different genres, uh, if you listen to pop or hip hop, I would easily give this pair an eight. I think the only reason I don't rate this higher is uh, most people that only listen to pop or hip hop usually are more bass heads. They like to have that impact of bass a little bit more. And this doesn't have the looseness that that subwoofer sound has on a lot of other pairs. And uh, if you're somebody that listens to rock or metal, this pair is excellent for that. I would give it a nine in this category just because it's fast. You can pretty much keep up with whatever I was listening to even if it's just like extremely fast death metal. I mean, it's it's very impressive what it was able to do and still sound 
dynamic. Now, if you're listening to easy listening or country or anything that's a little more vocal driven, I would drop it down to a seven. And that's because I think maybe the mids could be pushed a little bit more forward in some of these genres. Uh, I feel like the sibilance of the trouble just kind of takes over in these type of genres where there's more instrumental or more vocals going on. Uh, It pulls a little more of that hissing in the S's and things out. Now again, this is nitpicking on a pair that only comes in under $40, but it is something I want to point out. Now, if you're going to use these for media, like gaming or movies or videos, uh, I would give it an 8 in this category because the Bluetooth 5.3 definitely cuts down on lag. Having that tight, impactful bass means uh, you can listen to different things but always hear dialogue extremely clear. So I think it really excelled in that category as well. So that brings my overall rating on these to a 9. And that's that's very, very high, but a lot of that kind of goes back to the value that this pair has. Because although you don't have app support, which in my opinion kind of keeps this from being able to be EQ'd in a way that you feel like you have that nice control over, you're still getting great noise canceling. You're getting incredible battery life. You're getting Qi wireless charging, Bluetooth 5.3, so you could use these with a lot of different types of media. And you're getting incredible sound, especially in this price range. So this is a pair that is so easy to recommend because of its value. Uh, you're getting a lot of features that you usually get in more expensive pairs. And really, I feel like the only thing that you're sacrificing is that app support Uh, which means that the way that you're getting these day one is the way that you're going to have them throughout the time that you have them. There's no improvements or updates coming. Uh, You can't switch around, you know, controls. You can't change the EQ, uh, which may be a good thing for some people. But guys, that's my video on the upgraded Tozo NC9s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.